Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Joe Jaguar. Look what I have for you guys today. Now, in my first video uh, called Who I Am and What I Have type of thing, check that out. I just uh, showed this to you quickly uh, that was in my living room. This is a Takahashi 4.7 inch. So it's just 0.3 of an inch shy of 5 inches. Now, Takahashi, as you probably heard, one of the best named brands there is. It's probably consider it like the uh, Ferraris of uh, like a Ferrari car. Um, there's a few good name brands that are in line with the Takahashi. The first being Astrophysics, Takahashi, pretty much up there, Tech, TMB, and Teleview. Anyway, those four companies are pretty much the best there is. Very expensive. Usually, you're talking about at least a thousand dollars per inch of aperture. So, uh, just to give you an idea, not that I'm showing off or anything, but a 4.7 inch, this guy, Takahashi, is 58, five thousand eight hundred dollars before tax. With tax, you're looking at about sixty-five hundred dollars. And again, it's not including the tripod and mount. Um, that could be, well, depending on what you got. Now, I just have a regular uh, mass-produced Mead LX70, which is an EQ5 uh, type mount. Uh, you know, you probably buy that for 600 bucks. But again, it does not come with a finder scope. That doesn't come with diagonal clamps. So this guy here is probably, you know, 4.7 inch, 7,000 bucks for this guy. Now, that's probably a good used quality car for a lot of people. Uh, some of you might say, I'm not spending 7000 on a 4.7 inch refractor. That's okay. Uh, but there are people who do, and this is what it is. Uh, again, so it's a Takahashi, it's called the TSA, uh, which is a triplet super uh, apple chromatic, uh, sorry about that, uh, 120. So again, it's 4.7 inch, and it's an F8. Uh, so it is a triplet 53 glass pretty much the best you're going to get. Now, you saw my other video, um, you know, just right beside it, my other, my 102 Takahashi, I did a video called uh, Takahashi 102 versus the Skywatcher 102, and you can check that out. You can see uh, the Takahashi just blew that one away. So, this one's a little bit uh, bigger, this one's 4.7, that one's 4 inch. Um, this one does come with a dual speed uh, 10 to 1 uh, reduction focuser. So unlike the 102, I actually, I don't know if you remember, um, let me let that guy. The focuser, that other video, I upgraded it. This focuser made by Moonlight was $713. Now this one already comes with a dual speed, so hopefully uh, that's good enough for what I need. Uh, still a little rough. Um, which might be good for the imagers, it, it'll hold the cameras and heavy eyepieces more steady, but it's just not as smooth. For visual, I just want to put the slightest touch on it and just move it micromillimeter at a time. Anyway, this is what a Takahashi 4.7 inch uh, best of the line. I did um, test it on Saturn. Um, you just can't imagine the images you'll get. They're basically as best as you can out of this size refractor. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Joe Jaguar signing off.